Bhagrachuri was rich in forests and biodiversity. The hills were covered with natural vegetation, providing habitats for different wildlife. With increasing population and non-scientific shifting or tomb cultivation, deforestation and forest degradation occurred, resulting in soil erosion and destruction of wildlife habitats. Tomb cultivation has become unsustainable due to reduced fallow period of 3 to 4 years, which was 15 to 20 years in the past. In some hilly areas, now people are cultivating root crops like ginger, turmeric and taro making soil more vulnerable to erosion. Water streams were gradually drying up. To stop further degradation and restore the vegetation in the degraded hills, Arunnuk Foundation, in collaboration with Anundo, a non-governmental organization having its office at Bikinala, initiated a project to mobilize communities in restoration of forests and biodiversity of the area. Anundo Arunnuk Foundation er Arthanukulle, 2009 সমাজ ভিত্তিক জীব বৈচিত্র সংরক্ষণ প্রকল্প গ্রহণ করে এই প্রকল্পের আওতায় মূল লক্ষ্য সেটি হচ্ছে এখানকার পাহাড়ি মানুষদের বনের উপর নির্ভরশীলতা কমিয়ে তারা যাতে নিজের উপর আস্থা রাখতে পারে এবং নিজের যে পাহাড় অথবা নিজের যে বসতবাটি এখান থেকে তারা তাদের জীবন ব্যবস্থা নতুন করে গড়তে পারে the project started in June 2009 in two villages, Bhoirafa Brijpara and Ghonapara villages of Dihinala. Later, in 2010, Beltoli village was included. The main objective of the project was to restore denuded hills with the native species. 35 poor Chakma families were living in the area. The main occupation was tomb cultivation on those hills. As the hills were highly degraded, the productivity of the hills was unacceptably low. Anandha jokan ekana kaas kotte ashe, tokan amra dekhi chye ekana poitri shti pori bar er modde tade jye pahar gulo, shi gulo chilo shampunno nera. Abang shi ekana tala jumtas kotto, bitti jori pe amra dekhti pe chye ekana prai sholotir pajati bilupto prai. Anundo had dialogues with the community people, social leaders, local government, local administration, relevant organizations like Forest Department, Department of Agricultural Extension, Department of Livestock Services, etc. All were aware of the cause of deforestation and low productivity of the hills. Based on the discussions, a participatory management plan was developed to restore the denuded hills and improve the livelihoods of people through alternative income-generating activities to reduce the dependency on forests. <laughs> সেখানে পূর্বে যেটি হতো মূলত আদা চাষ হলুদ চাষ এবং কচু চাষ তার ভেতর দিয়ে পাহাড় ধুইয়ে যেত এবং এখানে আমরা তাদেরকে এর বিকল্প চিন্তার জন্য আমরা বিশেষ করে স্টিপ বা ঢাল এটা কিভাবে ব্যবহার করতে হয় এই নানান ভাবে আমরা এখানে সচেতনতা বৃদ্ধি করেছি আনন্দ অর্গানাইজ দ্য কমিউনিটিস টু কমিউনিটি बेस्ड অর্গানাইজেশনস পারফর্ম উইথ দ্য 35 হাউসহোল্ডস ইন ভৈরফা ব্রিজপাড়া Akchoda Shomiti and in Ghonapara Ujjogi Shomiti. To bring dynamism to the Shomitis or associations, the members were encouraged to start monthly saving scheme so that they can emerge as self-help group. They started group saving program through paying monthly subscription of Taka 40 per participant. Anundo supported them in improving the organizational capacity. They started holding monthly meeting and discussing the issues of livelihood improvement and forest conservation. 
they identified the need for technical capacity building through training on different alternative income generating activities. With the improved capacities, they started taking different alternative income generating activities with their own fund. Encourage the associations. The Arunnok Foundation provided them matching grant of Bangladesh Taka 250,000 that enhance dynamism in the associations. They started managing the fund as revolving loan fund. They had access to loan of maximum Taka 10,000 per household for alternative income generating activities without interest. They developed fund management policy and implemented that effectively. Anundo established 20 different agroforestry demonstration plots showing the best land use practices. To ensure better production, Anundo supported the communities with quality planting materials from the central nursery for planting in the hills and homesteads. During the last three years, 50,000 seedlings of fruit trees, timber and fuel wood trees were distributed to the community members. The seedlings were planted in and around 35 hills including foothills along the watercourses and in the homesteads. In foothills and homesteads, 2,200 seedlings of mango and lychee were planted. To conserve moisture in the soil, pigeon pea and sweet potatoes were planted as green mulch crop. Anundu promoted multi-tier orchard involving different fruit trees, timber trees, shrubs and herbs in different canopies. It is an appropriate model for egg C2 conservation. It provides fruits, timber and fuel wood. In the gentle slopes, plain land and homesteads of Kagrachodi lychee and Indian olive were found to grow well. In between the trees, custard apple, shorifa, pineapple and papaya were planted. Along the water streams, bamboo was planted as it protects soil from erosion. Along the boundary of homestead and foothills, neem, Indian olive, lemon and pineapple were planted using closer spacing so that cattle cannot penetrate through the boundary acted as a live fence. Anundo provided advisory services and training on different agroforestry technologies including management of agroforestry systems to both community members of the association as well as people living in the nearby areas. The project made significant impact in the area. Social leaders from the neighboring Jora Bridge and Tarabunya villages of Kobakali Union approached Anundu management to replicate the activities in 100 degraded hills of the villages. There were 100 households associated with 100 hills. Anundu with the financial support from the Arunuk Foundation, extended the activities in the area following a new approach where one lead farmer was trained who supported four adjacent households with knowledge and technologies. Anundo provided quality planting materials appropriate for different sites. 
the community members planted all the species on the hills and homesteads. Within one year, the grey hills started turning to green. They were also supported with creation of revolving loan fund and provided training to improve the organizational and technical capacity building. Different alternate income generating activities were adopted by them. Now, in the total project area, dependence of local people on forests is reduced by 60 to 70 percent. Previously, they had been going to forests for collection of fuel wood and bamboo almost every day. But now they go only two to three days a week. They're having fuel wood from their own trees. They're using improved cook stove that has reduced their fuel wood requirements by almost 50%. By now, the area has become rich with three indigenous species, Chompa, Gorchun, and Chapalish. এখানে উন্নত চুলার ব্যবহারের ফলে তারা যে পাহাড়ে পাহাড়ের উপর নির্ভরশীল ছিল জ্বালানি কাঠের জন্য এখন তারা তাদের যে बाउंड्री লাইন আছে বাড়ির পাশে সেখান থেকে ফুয়েল উড কালেকশন করছে এতে করে পাহাড়ের উপরে যে প্রেসার ফুয়েল উডের সেটা প্রায় 70% কমে এসেছে আগে আমরা দৈত্য ছিলাম সাপ্তাই আমরা 6 7 দিন জঙ্গলে যেতে হতো কারণ আমরা এই বাগান দিয়ে আমরা বিভিন্ন কিছু করি বিদা আর এর উৎস আমাদের 30 32% হয়ে গেছে এইজন্য আর যেতে হয় না দুই একদিন আমাদের জঙ্গলে গেলে চলে আনন্দের প্রস্তাবের যে কাজটা হয়ে গেছে আমি করেছিলাম সেটা বাস্তবে পরিণত আপনারা দেখতে পাচ্ছেন গাছগুলো তো পরিপক্ক হয়ে গেছে আমি আনন্দিত আছে আর কি আনন্দ ওই সংস্থা থেকে সহযোগিতা পেয়ে এখানে আমরা অনেক সারা রোপণ করছি বেল লাগাইছি প্রায় 700 মত আমরা এখন পাহাড়ে যাই নাই গাছ কাটি নাই তিন বছর আগে আমরা এখানে জুম চাষ করে খাইতাম মানে আনন্দ প্রশিক্ষণ পেয়ে আমরা বহু প্রজাতি গাছ আমরা আনন্দ সহযোগিতা পেয়েছি গাছ কাটা অনেক বন্ধ হয়ে গেছে পাড়গুলো সবুজ করে ফেলেছি আমরা এখন বনে আর গাছ কাটছি না কেউ যদি গাছ কাটতে গেলে আমরা বাধা বাধা দেই বিকজ অফ মাল্টি টিয়ার অর্চার্ড আর অ্যাগ্রো ফরেস্ট্রি প্র্যাকটিসেস ইন দি এরিয়া they now dream for a better future. They are having fruits like papaya, guava, banana, orange and lemon from the orchards. With interest-free loan from the revolving loan fund, they are undertaking different alternative income generating activities such as pig rearing, cattle fattening, milking cow rearing, poultry rearing, vegetable cultivation, leasing land for paddy cultivation, fisheries project and small trade. In a study on the livelihood, it was found that the income has increased by 33% and now they are becoming owners of permanent properties. They are gradually having more water in the water stream which is used for the daily need including vegetable and crop cultivation. The rate of deforestation is significantly reduced now. People and the social leaders are happy to see green dighinala with different agricultural products. Revolving farm ni. Protome amra mosho chas kore mas gula amra bikri kore 30000 taka pe bobishoter jonno dui ta guru basur kinchi. Amar ekta asha ache je ek gorur farm toyer korbo. Ami shomite theke loan niyechi 10000 taka. এখন ব্যবসা করতেছি এখন আমার আয় ভালো হচ্ছে এখন ছুগে আছে আয় বর্ধন যেটা ছিল প্রকল্পের অন্যতম একটি প্রধান লক্ষ্য যে মানুষ আর জঙ্গলে যাবে না পাহাড়ে যাবে না কিন্তু এর জন্য আমাদেরকে যেটি করতে হয়েছে সেটি হলো তার পাহাড়কে সম্পূর্ণ ব্যবস্থার মধ্যে আনা হয়েছে এবং একই সঙ্গে তার বসত বাটিকে এটিকেও সম্পূর্ণ ব্যবস্থাপনার মধ্যে আনা হয়েছে আরুণক ফাউন্ডেশন জয়েন্টলি উইথ আনন্দ এন্ড পিপল অফ দিখিনালা has made significant contribution in restoring forests and biodiversity in the degraded hills. Such green cover is a source of water, food and nutrition for people living in the hills. Human being, wildlife and plants constitute the environment and the earth. <laughs>